The Extraordinary Journey of Bernard Arnold From Passion to Prosperity Bernard Arnold was born in 1949 in Roubaix, a small town in northern France. From a young age, he displayed an entrepreneurial spirit and he was always fascinated by luxury brands. As a teenager, Arnold would ride his bicycle to Paris to visit fashion houses and attend fashion shows. Arnold attended the École Polytechnique, one of France's top engineering schools, and later he went on to study at the prestigious École des Mines in Paris. In his own words, I have always been fascinated by the industry and the great entrepreneurs who have created the big French brand. In 1984, Arnold acquired the fashion house Christian Dior, which was struggling at the time. He brought in new designers and he focused on revitalizing the brand, which eventually became one of the most profitable luxury brands in the world. Under Arnold's leadership, Dior's revenue increased from 1.9 billion francs in 1985 to 30 billion francs in 2018. Arnold continued to acquire other luxury brands, including Louis Vuitton, Fendi and Givenchy, and he expanded the LVMH brand into a luxury goods conglomerate and expanded his brand. He invested heavily in digital technology and e-commerce, which has helped LVMH thrive in the modern age. LVMH's digital sales increased by 44% in 2020, accounting for 60% of the company's total revenue. And today, Arnold is the richest man alive, with a net worth of over 211 billion, according to Forbes. So, what can young people learn from the story of Bernard Arnold? Number one, pursue your passion. Bernard Arnold's success is rooted in his passion for luxury brands. He followed his interests and turned them into a thriving business empire. The lesson here is to identify your passion and find ways to turn it into a career or business opportunity. Number two, embrace innovation. Arno's ability to embrace and invest in new technologies and digital platforms played a crucial role in his success. He recognized the importance of adapting to the changing market landscape. Embracing innovation and staying open to new ideas can help young people stay ahead in their chosen fields. Number three, persevere through challenges. Arnold faced setbacks and criticism throughout his career, but he never let them deter him. Instead, he used them as fuel to push forward. The lesson for young people is to embrace challenges as opportunities for growth and remain resilient in the face of adversity. Number four, give back and make a difference. Arnold's commitment to philanthropy and supporting cultural institutions showcases his dedication to making a positive impact on society. Young people can learn from his example and strive to use their success and influence to give back to their communities, support causes they are passionate about, and make a lasting difference in the world. So, as you embark on your own journey, remember to pursue your passion, embrace innovation, persevere through challenges, and give back to society. For starters, it's never too late to start pursuing your passion. Whether it's fashion, technology, or anything in between, if you have a dream, go for it. And who knows, maybe one day, you too could be the richest person in the world. Just don't forget to ride your bicycle to Paris along the way. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our videos. If you have found this one valuable, Give it a thumbs up and share it with people you think it may help. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on interesting content like this. Turn on the notification bell to be the first one to know when we upload a new video. Check on your screen, we have handpicked two more videos for you to enjoy next. See you in the next video.